Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, if you haven't noticed, things look a little different. I'm currently in the process of moving. So uh, today we are filming from a different location, which is super cool. And I'll get to show you guys later. However, um, welcome back to another art session. We're going to have a good time. Uh, hopefully you've seen like in this thumbnail what this uh, today's session is going to be about. And we're going to have a good time today. I'm wearing my God is Genius shirt. God is Genius and which he is with all of these things going on in the world. Yes, God is genius. Um, but yeah, so uh, we're gonna get started, and I'm kind of kind of be filming from a in a different angle. So y'all tell me if y'all like it, y'all love it or no. Um, we're gonna give it a try today. Uh, so yeah, y'all buckle in, get ready, grab all your supplies. Remember, grab your pencils, your pens, your crayons, your color pencils, your uh, what erasers. Anything you're going to need for this, um, I want you guys to make sure you're starting in pencil. You can always go back and outline in black. However, I am going to be starting in marker, but I want you guys to definitely start in pencil. Do not forget that. That way, if you make any mistakes during the beginning process, you can go back and erase, okay? All right, so y'all get ready. Buckle in tight. We're about to start. All right, y'all. So hopefully this is good. Um, this is the angle I was telling you guys about. I'm gonna just be drawing a picture here, and then hopefully you guys will be able to see it a little better. All right. So again, I'm starting with black marker. I want you to make sure you are starting with pencil. All right. So first, we're gonna start with the face. All right. And so we're gonna draw. This line on around. Just like that. Remember we talk about that uh, uh, rainbow under. So we're going to try to use some of those same steps we had before. Okay. And then we're going to start to draw like her bang from her hair. So you're going to start here in the middle of the face, like here, right here at the top. You're going to start in the middle and you're going to come down just like this, some curls. Like that. Now, you're going to do the same thing on the side, other side, but it's going to look a little shorter. And it's just rainbows, rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. So same thing, rainbow down, rainbow down. And now you can go as far as this side, but you notice the sides are different. Like this side doesn't go as far as down as this side. Okay. All right. We're going to add her hair around. Okay. So we're going to start right here where we started this dot, but we're going to start up here, okay? Up here. And we're going to go to your to my left on the sheet of paper first. And we're going to just rainbow over, 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 all the way around until we get right here near the cheek, okay? See that? And now we're going to start this side. Only this side is going to go up a little higher first and then come down. Uh oh. Went off the side a little. Okay. We're going to give her some ears. Let's 
circle around, and one over here. Circle around. Then you want to add, you know, a little detail in the middle. A little C. Backward C. Right, and make sure you can see the bottom here. Alright. Neck. Just like that, two lines on each side. Then we're gonna do our shirt. So it's gonna go we'll wrap around and rainbow down, come around, stop. And then we're gonna make it a collar, okay? So this is her neckline, and then we're gonna make this into a collar. So we're gonna follow this same line, dip down a little this time. Rainbow, follow that same line and connect it. All right. So then we're going to start to draw her arms. I made, I wanted to make it look like it's a little backpack on her um, arm. So that's what we're, you're going to start to see. It's just going to hurt, be her shoulders in this picture. So you're going to have a line like this here. One, two. Make sure you pay attention where that line stop and starts. I don't know what's happening, y'all. The camera keeps sliding. It wants to slide. I don't know why. Stay camera. All right. Then we're going to rainbow up just a little and stop. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Rainbow up just a little. Just a little. Just a teeny winks. And then you're going to come back down just a little and rainbow around. All right, so we rainbow, we brought this arm around and down. You're going to do the same thing on this other side. Bring this arm around and down. All right, and now we're going to add her little straps for her backpack, which is very simple. So right there where you rainbowed it up a little bit, you're going to use those sides, okay? So you're going to use this one, and you're going to go down, and you're going to use this one, and you're going to go down. You're going to do the same thing over here on this side. Now, same thing. Now, see how they curve in a little bit to match her shoulders? All right, so we're going to go back up to the hair and we're going to add a bow into her hair. All right, so it's going to sit kind of right up in here. So we're going to start first with a little C, just like that in it, in her hair. And it close the C off. Look like a D. A backwards D probably to you. And then one, two, three. And the same thing on the other side. One, two, three. All right. Got add some little lines in here. Detail. Detail is important. For making things look realistic as possible. Alright, so y'all ready for her face? 
All right, I try to make it real simple. However, she's a cute little girl and she's missing some teeth. So you got to prepare for that part. All right, eyebrows. You can do your eyebrows like this or you can keep them simple with just a line. However, let's if you just try to challenge yourself. One. Two. First to start with. Okay, and then you're going to add to them by going up. So you go up. Up on both sides. Okay. Then you're going to go do that same line, but you're going to get skinnier. One, two, rainbow over. But make sure you meet on the sides. Like, remember when we did our clover and you had to meet like that. All right. Same thing here. Follow the line. Get skinnier, skinnier meat. Just like that. All right. Now, because she's smiling so big, her cheeks are going to kind of close her eyes a little bit. So her eyes at the bottom are going to rainbow like that on both sides. One, two. All right. And then they're going to rainbow up. Kind of just like the eyebrows did, except it comes as a point. Okay. All right, you're going to draw her little eyeballs. One, two. See the little lines on the inside. One, two. All right. And then her pupils, just a little dot. Dot. All right. Her nose, the nose is going to kind of stay consistent with all of the noses we have done. Just those three bumps. One, two, three. If you want to play around and do a different nose, that's totally fine. One, two, three. Like swiggles, wiggles, wiggles. One, two, three. Okay. And then her mouth. You're ready for her mouth. All right. So make sure you take your time on this part. If you need to, you could just watch me do it and then go back and draw yours in. But if you're going to watch with us, that's fine too. And do it with us. All right. So we're starting in the middle right here underneath the nose. In the middle, right underneath the nose. And we're going to start with like a little U or that umbrella down. Umbrella up. And give her a little start. Half a smile you're going into on the side. Same thing on the other side. Umbrella up. Down. Little smile. All right. Now, for the top lip, the same way we kind of met with the eyebrow, we're going to do that on the corners of her mouth, right? But we're going to follow this line first to give her a top lip. Down, up, down, meet. So that's going to be her top lip. Bottom lip, you're going to meet at this corner. You're going to just uh uh. Rainbow down and meet in the corner. And you're going to stay, like I said, same thing on that corner. Follow that same line and meet back up in the corner. Bottom lip. All right. Now, when you talk about we're going to add some teeth in, but the teeth are like, like it's going to rainbow, multiple rainbows, kind of like how we did the hair. So you're going to use that same thing for the mouth, okay? See how we try to keep things repeating throughout our drawing, okay? So the gums are going to look, and we're just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six dips at the top, okay? Make sure you count. One, two, two in the middle, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's going to be the gums. Y'all see? All right. 
Now you do the same thing at the bottom, except the bottom. Well, no, we won't have them at the bottom. We won't show them at the bottom, which is okay. All right, so now we're going to add her teeth. Right in between where the gums drop. One, two, none in the middle because she's going to be missing teeth. One, two. So you're only going to give her four teeth. And if you have a little space on the side, you can add one or whatever. Okay? And see how she's missing teeth in the middle? Then the bottom, you're just going to add teeth because the gums are in the lip. So one, two, maybe three is good. All right, add her little cheeks. One, two, okay. And I like the idea of giving her little freckles. So what I did was just take my marker. And so you could take your marker, right? And you could just do dots. Now you could do these in different colors. I'm gonna do mine in black so you can see. However, you could do them in like a red, Depending on whatever you like, uh, kind of color her hair, you can do it in a brown, uh, anything like that. So I'm going to um, do mine in black so you guys can see. Just adding the little freckles to her nose and to her cheeks. Okay. All right. And if you guys have made it this far... We are just about done. I had this little design in her hair. It goes like boom, boom. So like an M or like, you know, that bird. And then you go back. Same way we did with the eyebrows. You meet on the corner, get wider, wider, and get thinner. Like a little detail in the hair. So what happens is this little detail when you do the hair, it's like shine on the hair. You can leave this part white. Don't color that part in if that helps. You kind of um with learning. But isn't she lovely? She's beautiful. But um, what I'm going to do, guys. Okay, now, and for the skin tone, you guys can color the skin tone whatever color you want. Uh, Mine will be brown for the sake of I don't I, in my marker kit these markers there I didn't I don't have like the um skin tone ones so my pack only has like a really dark brown which is totally fine. However, you could color you know skin tone hair whatever color you desire. So I probably use brown for her skin, uh, black hair, and then I'll add some different colors. But I want you guys to get very creative and I'm excited to see. Make sure you're sharing with me. Share your progress photos with me. Let me know uh, how things turn out and I'll be back when I finish coloring this, okay? So y'all, good luck. Have fun. Get creative. All right, y'all, we back and here she is. I would like to say I picked some of the strangest colors, but I think she's super cute. Um, To help you with like the mouth and teeth area, like I chose like a pink for the middle of her mouth, like where her teeth aren't. And for her gums, I chose like a darker pink. So a lighter pink for the center and then a darker pink. And then I I layered pink and brown for her lips. And I threw a little pink in like for her cheeks, for blush uh, on top of like her brown, like the brown skin. And I wanted to be playful with the hair. Every now and again, I like red hair. So I gave her red hair and red, I matched her eyebrows, of course. Um, she has like light hazel eyes. And yeah, so this is how mine turned out. And you know how I like to go in and outline after we finish. So that's the process we're going to do. Um, you guys can go ahead and do this too. Remember, I'll outline all your lines. Make them pop. Make them stand out. So if you made any mistakes, you can use like thicker um, black lines to um, cover up some of those mistakes. So all of those lines we made together, you want to use those and bring them back because you worked hard on those. 
All right. And take your time because remember, you're cleaning up any type of mistakes. So you're not trying to make too many extra mistakes. Because you want to make it look nice and clean. Put her freckles back. Looking good. <coughs> I don't think we did our face. All right, y'all. Once you've made it that far, All right, once you made it this far, you're pretty much done. So this is our final piece. Um, be sure to tag me, guys. Be sure to tag me in your final drawings. To let me know if you have any questions, uh, if you have any concerns. Um, yeah, but this is her. She's beautiful. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys are hanging on to all of your drawings and adding them to a portfolio. So a portfolio is where you keep all of your drawings that you make. Um, even if the drawings that you don't do with me, you make sure you hang on to all your drawings and put them in your portfolio or you put them in a sketchbook. So a sketchbook is just where you draw all, put all your drawings and it's already bounded together and everything. Um, so you'll have it. And when you go look for it, it's in here already. So, uh, I do these on individual sheets of paper. So, I have a book that I just slide them into once I'm finished. So, uh, you can do that too. Uh, but, yeah, make sure you take care of your drawings and so they can last a, lot, a long time. So, as you grow and you become better and bigger uh, artists, you have an opportunity to look back on what you learn and different things like that. So, be sure to tag me, guys, in your drawings. Take pictures of your progress. Uh, and yeah, you guys have an amazing Tuesday. I will see you back again Thursday. Bye. Have a good one.